many of you may have seen a video that I made a while ago. Um, in this compartment here, I made a, a easy to remove cover so I could get into the water filter, into the water pump and stuff easily. And also there's a, a water alarm that I have set up in here. So if there's a water leak in this compartment, I'll be able to hear it. So what it is, it's, I think I got this like at Home Depot. It's a watchdog water alarm. I know there's a lot of different ones out there, but that's kind of give you an idea. And at the time I just ran the wire, I taped it up and then I ran it down here. And let me go here. It's hard to get in this compartment. The wire goes down here into this tray below the water filter. So if there's any leaks, uh, the wires go in there and then the water goes and touches it, it'll set up a set off an alarm to let me know um, that there's water in there. So a couple times I haven't got this filter tight. It was just dripping and it put a little water in there and set off the alarm. Some people have removed the water filter that came with their trailer, the onboard filter, but I decided to leave mine in place. I use on the outside, just like a lot of people do, a Camco water filter. But you can see after six months of time, this water filter is dirty already. Not real bad, it's still good for another six months or so. So I'm going to leave this in place instead of just taking it out like a lot of people have. Um, and I'm going to rig up this alarm system a little better than I originally did. There's a hole in the back there where I can go in a cabinet, run my wire in there. The reason I want to do this is when I've had it go off before, I climb back out. I've had all this behind this uh, cover here. An alarm will go off and then I'll have to dig everything out of this box to get in here to turn it off to pull the probes out of the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this thing in the bathroom cabinet and put a shutoff switch on it. So if it does go off, I can turn it off really quick. So let's go inside and I'll show you this uh, where this leads to what I'm going to do. So underneath this cabinet here in my bathroom, I can uh, provide a link in the description below for some shelving that I did uh, for in this cabinet, some modifications um, in another video that I did. I'll show you that. But I've removed this cover. And what I'm gonna do is go through this hole here. And then I'm gonna mount the alarm in here somewhere and then um, I'm gonna, here's the switch I'm gonna have. Just a toggle switch on off. And I'm gonna mount it somewhere on this board so I can easily uh, shut it off if I have to. So let's get this thing started. Here's what it looks like with the alarm um, removed. Just so uh, you probably wonder what this tape is for. Well, when this alarm goes off, it's super loud, even with the tape on here. So I put it on there to quiet it down. So here, here's the end that's in that little uh, plastic tub that's underneath the water filter. And you can see the two metal prongs here. The wires come in. So if they connect together, then what happens is with the water, the alarm will go off. As long as they're dry, they're good. So looking at this, I'm probably just going to take this switch and just drill a hole and install it right here on the front of this. Then I'm going to install it right up in here in this area. And then my cover will be here, but my alarm will be right up here. That way, if I need to take my cover off or anything, the alarm will be mounted up there separate and won't get in the way 
if I need to access these pipes in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Before I go ahead and drill my hole for my switch, I want to show you a couple things. This takes a 9 volt battery. It's been in there three years. I'll probably change it out before I put it back in. When I drill the holes here, I'm going to drill it right here, put a piece of tape there, mark the X where I want to put it, and uh, I'm going to drill the small hole and work my way up so that this uh, will fit in the hole. I want to show you how this works too. So there's the probes, and it's going to be loud. So you can see how it works. Um, it's loud enough for us to hear it uh, when we're in the trailer and outside of it. So I'm going to leave my tape on, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm going to try it while it's in the box in the cabinet and see if I should remove that uh, tape or not on the front to muzzle the sound. What I'm going to do here is since this is two wires and these when these touch each other, the alarm goes off. I'm going to cut, you can see here, there's two wires. I'm just going to cut the wire here and uh, just one side and then um, connect one end to there, one end to there. So it'll be breaking the circuit going through. So, and then I have these connectors to go on here. I'll put this together. The switch is wired in place. You can see that I just disrupted one wire, not not both of them. And so I got my connectors on here. Everything's tight. Now I'm just going to slide it in the hole here. It's all wired in. And then I have the switch up here, the on off switch. So there's on, off. Let me stick this thing in the water Let's see if it actually works. So it's not going off. If I turn this switch on, it works. Ah, it works. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this thing inside the trailer now. So I have alarm all installed. It's right up here in the top corner. I just, uh, up above there, I put a screw and then this whole unit slides on it. It's slotted. So, um, got that in place, ran the wires down here through the wall and I'll show you on the other side what it looks like. Here's the other side of the wall and the hole I came through in the wall. The wires just come into this tub. And then I just have it taped on the side. So if the water gets up maybe half inch, the alarm will go off. So there it is. Now I'll go back inside and put stuff back together and show you what it looks like. Everything's back together. Fits in there nicely. And then I can also remove it to replace the battery if I have to. So if you'd like to set up here, I'll put a link in the description below of this install. These are pretty uh, slick. They just uh, have a little bracket and then it pops in place. So it adds to our storage there. And also if I have to, these will come right out. And then I can remove this panel to get into the plumbing behind it. So if you like this uh, video and you want to see more, just hit the subscribe and uh, the little bell icon and you'll see future videos and you'll be able to see my other 50 or so videos I've made. So I hope this has been helpful and um, that you enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Feel free to comment or ask questions and I always respond to the comments. So this is something, this alarm is something that you can install under like your kitchen sink or even in this cabinet I should probably have one there but usually if this toilet paper gets wet I'll know there's a problem 
And under the kitchen sink, we always check re regularly. So um, something to keep in mind. I'll leave a link in the description below also for all the parts I used. I'm not sure if they sell this exact one anymore. It might be slightly different, but I'll provide a link in the description below of uh, something similar if I can't find that one. All right. Happy camping, everybody. Take care and have fun.